Good, good. Uh, it is it pertains to everything that we're talking about and our role in the earth, as you mentioned earlier. Uh, what should we as men and women of faith be doing in this hour? In this hour, intercession like never before. Intercession like never before, and we need to be available. I was I was teaching on this last night at, at uh, Tuesday night Bible study. Bible says in Ephesians 2.10 that we are his workmanship and we were created for good works or good deeds that we should walk in them, which means what comes with being a believer is good deeds. Now, I don't do good deeds to be a believer. I do good deeds because I am a believer. I do good deeds because I am saved, because I am a child of God. So what good deeds can we do in this hour? You know, using wisdom. Remember, walking by faith, simultaneously walking in wisdom. So what good deeds can I do? Can I, can I give to a cause? Can I cash app someone? Can I drop groceries off at someone's front door? What, what, what wise good deeds can I do? And in addition to that, I need to be interceding like never before, standing in the gap in this hour, because I can't, you know, I can't, I can't lay hands on people. You, you can't lay hands on people like, like you could have before. We can't touch and agree like we're used to. So we do know that there's no distance too great, too vast, too far where God's word can't reach us. The Bible says he sent his word and he healed us. And intercession is like that, you know, it's like the Roman lance, you know, when the Bible talks about the armor of God in Ephesians 6. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, Paul doesn't highlight every piece of the Roman armor. armor. He, he highlights most of the pieces, like the sword, the shield, the breastplate. But there are some things that he misses or, or that he leaves out. And I don't, I would say it was either intentional or the spirit of God just didn't lead him to write. But soldiers would have a spear or a lance for long distance attacks. And that's what intercession is like. It's like for the long distance. I, I can't, I can't, like I said, I can't touch you. I can't lay hands on you. I can't touch and agree with you, but I can pray for you where I am. So whatever. Deal with that. Deal with that, 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 that prayer uh, point r really good because many, and even in church, you know, we all have different styles and ways of praying and, and, and there's nothing wrong with any of them. Uh, but some, Think that they have to do it a certain way in order to be effective uh deal with that real quick so so specifically talking about intercession or or just prayer in uh intercession okay intercession so uh so if you've been raised in you know pentecostal or charismatic circles then you're familiar with praying in the spirit and praying in the spirit has always been synonymous with intercessory prayer you know like if we're going into intercessory prayer if we're going to lock ourselves in this room or if we're going to have this prayer meeting and we're interceding, we, we're going into praying in the spirit. And I, I'm in total agreement with praying in the spirit. Um, I do believe it's the highest form of intercession because we don't know what we're talking about. We don't understand it, but God does. I'm, I'm speaking directly to God. However, let's not leave out the fact that interceding simply means to stand in the gap. So I can pray for Cornell and that's me interceding for Cornell and I'm praying in my known tongue i'm praying in english there's no particular way that it sounds I, it's just for you it's it's targeting you or it's targeting someone else or it's targeting those that i don't know i'm praying for them i'm standing in the gap for them so there's no particular way that it's supposed to look like or sound like or feel like as long as you're standing in the gap for others when I'm interceding, I'm not praying for me. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for them. I'm praying for those. I'm praying for the rest. So I think there are many textures to it. You know, mm -hmm. it, 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 like I said, praying in your known tongue, praying in the spirit, all, all of that is intercession. It's, I'm standing in the gap for you. You were you you were going to make a distinction between prayer and intercession uh, just a second ago. Uh, I got think it's a good time to de deal with that. What's the difference between the two? Well, you know, it's clearly in scripture, we see there are types of prayer. There are different types of prayer. So like the prayer of intercession, because intercession is for everyone else except you. Mm -hmm. So so that's one type of prayer. Then we have, you know, the prayer of faith. That's I'm going to God, you know, I have needs. 
I'm going to him in faith. That's a, that's a, that's Fred and God. But then you have the prayer of, let's say, consecration of, and, and dedication. You know, not my will, but your will be done. Like, I don't know your will on this, God, but I want to know it. So like Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, not my will, but your will be done. And you have just a prayer of, you know, thanksgiving. You know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm entering into prayer and I'm just thanking God, you know. Uh, and then we have, you know, the prayer of agreement or, or we could say we're too touch and agree. Um, and even though in that context, it wasn't talking about prayer in Matthew 18. Nevertheless, you and I both know that if we are going to come together in prayer, we need to be saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's probably some other ones, you know, but, but those are, those are the ones that come to mind uh, the quickest, but uh, there's a scripture that talks about, I think it's uh, Philippi, no, I mean, I'm sorry, Ephesians. I want to, it's in Ephesians or Romans, but basically it's talking about uh, like praying, praying all types of, or all kinds of prayer. I think it's Philippi, uh, Ephesians six, if I'm not mistaken, but um. It, it, it basically lets us know that there are different kinds or, or different types of prayers or certain prayers that should be prayed in specific situations. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we say pray, okay, what kind of prayer? Like, okay, what are we praying about? What are we praying for? What are we targeting? Those, those things are important when it comes to prayer and it helps us identify the different types. It's all prayer, but there's different types.